This is, of course, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Clint Eastwood, a wonderful star. Clint, we've been on the picture now for with you about two days, and I want to say, on behalf of the whole cast, Clint, we're fed up. <laughs> <laughs> Gee whiz, Clint, you got all the lines, and you just let us stand around, and but you've been a great host to us, really. And standing next to you, I get the feeling you're a building and I'm a bad Fiat car or something. But you're a marvelous guy. Telly Savalas, your co-star, said to me tonight uh, at dinner, the man is cracking up. Well, he's staying at the Parco, you know, I don't know. That's a different hotel. A different hotel. Let me ask you this, Clint. Do you, do you feel, do you feel in your part, you, I mean, the role of Kelly, have you, have you given it some thought? Clint. Clint, over here, Clint, where are you? <laughs> what script are we talking about, anyway? The, How long have you had that the, problem, Clint? The, uh, the, no. The, no, the picture, the picture of the Warriors, seriously speaking. I mean, basically, I read the script, and you read the script, and now that we've both read it, let's get on a plane and go home. Because <laughs> I think it's bad. <laughs> now, the Warriors, Clint Eastwood is the star, Tully Savalas is the other star. I'm uh, getting star billing, but I'm not in it. Uh, I have the part of Crap Game. He plays Kelly, and Tully Savalas plays Big Joe, which I think is an original name for a soldier. Yeah, a... And he's marvelous. Uh, Tully isn't with us today, unfortunately. He's downtown running around saying to the Yugoslavian soldiers, I'm Big Joe. <laughs> and people are saying, who cares, moron? <laughs> but you've been great, Clint. Uh, how long have you been in uh, motion pictures, <laughs> Clint? <laughs> Is this another one? Hour. That, jumps, or, uh, that's a good one. About Clint, 16 years. Clint huh? got off a ripper there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> We've been going through this for three or four days with these little rippers. About 16 years. If you don't know this, Clint started out in Rawhide. He was the one that kept saying, Yaha, Yaha. <laughs> and a producer one day said, Get the dumbbell that's yelling Yaha. <laughs> and they, they hired Clint. And then he went to Italy and did a movie where you paid the company, I believe. <laughs> and Lyra. And he did uh, 25. 5,000 pounds of dollars, hang them low and high and swing them left to your right. And then he did two pounds of glory and the other big picture for Aldeudo Bagarazzo called Clint Eastwood was in heat for a werewolf, which was a biggie. And then he met Brian Hutton, our nine-year-old director, who is not here today, unfortunately. He's over on the set telling his friends the parts they had. Well, Brian Hutton's a great director. He's the one that said to Richard Burton one afternoon, R Richard! As Richard was driving away. But he's a wonderful director. We'd have him on now, folks, but this is Betty time. And he's not allowed to stay up late. Glenn, it was so great talking with yeah, you. Yeah. Once again, you've shown the folks what a big bang-up star you are. Don't forget, folks, when you see Clint Eastwood in your local drive-in theaters, drive right into the screen. <laughs> Come on, Clint. Oh. <laughs> Listen. Would you care to say a few words about Texas for the people in Yugoslavia? Uh, yes, the people in Yugoslavia, let's face it, it's a tie. <laughs> Uh, between Texas and Yugoslavia. I was down in Houston and Dallas, and uh, I was there when Don Meredith faded back and swallowed his helmet. Uh, but uh, Texas is a wonderful country, and it's a, it's, a great, it's, a great place, it's a great place to live if you want to see flies and heifers on the highway. But Texas is all right. And I wish you a lot of luck, Betty, and you're starting to annoy me. Of course, like you came in now with the bandana on. Yeah. Now, this is good if you're cleaning an elevator. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm not trying to be vicious about it. In fact, when I take a good look, Ruth, the whole outfit isn't ridiculous. <laughs> but the whole idea is to laugh at ourselves. And that's what I'm doing. I'm laughing at you. I'm perfect. Uh, Don, what do you say? What can you say about Vegas? Las Vegas. Uh, last, but first of all, Joe, it's good to have you here, and I, and I thank you so much. The shirts came back just the way I did. <laughs> but, you know, I'll tell you the truth, though, the brown rice you got to work on. <laughs> but, uh, now, he's from the Philippines. You remember yeah. you used to come by in your canoe in my big boat? <laughs> Get started in Toronto, and why? All dummies up there, but we need Canada, so we can go across the border, stay out of the army. <laughs> But it's a wonderful country. And you're great. You always do this with the interview? <laughs> sure make a guy feel relaxed. <laughs> Quick, a question. That's right. Think of something. Look on your underwear. Maybe you wrote something down there. <laughs> it's really rolling along singing a song. It's Tell great. me about the pictures. It's bad. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it's, a, um, no, it's, a, it's a nice picture. It runs about an hour and a half with Clint Eastwood and Tully Savalas, two dummies that I'm carrying. <laughs> but you're a nice guy. Can I tell you something? There's a good friend, Warren. 
The rest of the people on the junket don't particularly care for you. <laughs> I tell you that as a friend. You notice how we're alone here with the interview? Nobody wants to hang around when you're being... They're not like, Warren. That's the big mistake, sweetheart. You've got to get people to like you, then you can find out about the big stars. <laughs> oh, God love you. Later on, we'll do the Foxtrot. I'm getting out of here, Warren. I've had it with you. I never want to go to Canada. Ah. Hello, Hollywood. How are you? <laughs> Sitting here in Yugoslavia. Herb Solo, you know, is the vice president in charge of production. He's the one that made the deal for me to come out here. He's sitting there in a beautiful air-conditioned office. <laughs> Hollywood looking out the window about, Hey, lady! <laughs> and I'm here in Yugoslavia dying in the jungle. You can relate to Boston, can't you? Oh, certainly. Boston's a lot of fun. I was there in Boston on Sunday once and saw a truck go by. <laughs> but, uh, my cousin lives in Brockton. He's, he a, he's a doctor. He's, he started out as an MD, and now he's treating uh, animals, cats, and what have you. But, uh, hello, Ben. I'm a little tied up now. <laughs> That's Ben, one of the executive vice presidents. You'll find him wandering around introducing himself to everybody. He, you know, you just give him a little toy and he plays on the grass. <laughs> Annoying old man. That's what he is. But it's wonderful to uh, have a guy from Boston take time out from your busy schedule. I know, <laughs> hanging around looking at the William Penn statue. Well, I'm going to come back to Boston, only this time I'm going to come back with a rare disease <laughs> to give to the city. That's how fed up I am. <laughs> Hey, you were criticizing the nightlife in the Twin Cities the other day. Well, Minneapolis and St. Paul, over my experience, the biggest uh, thrill you have for nightlife is to go out in the winter and turn blue. <laughs> now, if you call a club called Frostbite Excitement, I wish you luck, but <laughs> Minneapolis and St. Paul, you had that big election where that fellow just won, didn't you? Yeah, didn't we, though? Police officer won the election, walking around town now, phoning up everybody, it's it. But I, I, I also I, have the president of MGM looking at it. Well, that's his problem. I met him today. And, you know, that's no bargain. Any guy that runs through the woods going, I'm the owner, you know, you know he's got to have a problem, you know what I mean? Uh, ben and all the other guys, they got to make a fuss at the meeting and get up and say, Bo, you were great what you said last night, and all he did was clear his throat. <laughs> See, I'm my own man. I get up early in the morning, and I worry what Ben and Bo think. You understand? Because if they turn on me, I gotta look for work. Number one, or it's the guy. They get him, Ben. They get him, Ben. Oh, I'm the Bo Bo. I'm not as smart as Ben. It's the Bo Bo stand up there. Holy Christ! He's <laughs> here. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Gentlemen. Hello, Bo. How are you? Nice to see you. This, this is Bo Bo. Just wait, Bo. You're not. You're too big to Remember get Remember that along. guy, Don? <laughs> it's Mr. Bo. Hello, uh, Ed. Good luck. Mills, Don. Lady Bradshaw is dead on the highway. <laughs> Good to did, see did you. Did you give Ben a bad time? Uh, no, we took care of everything. Ben was great. We, we, we had a synagogue service. Ed, we'll tell you. We did everything. Good talking to you, Bo. That's it. <laughs> This is where it is. You see, you got to get on that big giant screen. Let those big people in Kansas see you. Yeah. Working those little clubs, folks don't get it. Everybody else get to Vegas. You know what I mean, Billy Baby? Yeah. Some folks don't get to the Copacabana or Los Angeles or Theater in the Round. Yeah, little guy in the wheat field in Kansas goes, "Come on, May, movie time." Everybody <laughs> goes to the Ed Sullivan show. Well, everybody goes to the Ed Sullivan show when you're a shut-in. <laughs> but uh, Ed Sullivan is a dear friend of mine, but ever since the monkey act died, he's been depressed. <laughs> Ed Sullivan is going to be out here, by the way. Yeah, yeah we're going to try to get a whole transplant, different face, to bring the man back to reality, let him wander in the woods here and then move. And right here with us, along with Chelly Savalas, Chelly Savalas, is a very wonderful Clint Eastwood, young, young star, that you're going to really, really, really off. And let's let's hear it for him now. All you trees and monkeys, and a couple of chestnuts, jump up in the air when I bring this wonderful youngster, this youngster, six nine, no body, no legs, just six nine. <laughs> You're gonna see him right here on our grass. A very wonderful, wonderful star. What is your name again? Oh yeah, a very wonderful star. Let's hear it for him, Mr. Clint. Eastwood. Clint. 